Hello everyone, my name is Titus and today we are going to derive expression for acceleration and tension of two connected bodies of masses M1 and M2 which are connected by a string and which passes over a pulley as shown in figure. So here we have the figure where mass M1 is lying on a horizontal platform and it is connected by with a string with the mass M2 and both the string passes over the pulley. For this let us assume that uh, mu be the coefficient of friction of friction between the mass m1 and the surface and here we will also assume that m2 is greater than m1 as a result the system is moving like this. So let a be the acceleration with which the masses are moving are moving and let T be the tension experienced by the masses. Here we will assume that the string is light and inextensible, it does not stretch and the pulley is frictionless. So we will draw the free body diagram for both mass M1 and M2 and we will indicate all the forces and we will resolve them and we will find the expression for acceleration and tension. So let us first do for mass M2. We can indicate the tension here also T. So M2 G acting downward and tension acting upward. Since the body is moving down, we can say that M2G is greater than T or M2G minus T is equal to M2A. Let us call this to the equation 1. Now let us come to mass M2, M1. So let us say mass M1 is lying on the horizontal surface. So here tension will act forward and to balance it the force of friction will act in the backward direction. But before that let us write the expression for uh, write the forces acting in the vertical direction. So mass m1 so the weight m1 g will act downward and to balance it a normal direction will act in the upward direction. So due to this normal direction a force of friction will exist in the backward direction which will be equal to mu times n where mu is a coefficient of friction. So since the body is moving in this direction so we can say tension T is greater than mu times n. n and m1 g are balanced so we can write n is equal to m1 g or we can say T is greater than mu times m1 g or T minus mu times m1 g is equal to m1 a. Let us call this to be equation 2. So now adding equation 1 and 2. So equation 1 is m2 g minus T is equal to m2 a and T minus mu times m1 g is equal to m1 a. So adding them up we get we can cancel the tensions and we have m2 g minus mu times m1 g is equal to m1 plus m2 into a or we can write a is equal to m2 minus mu times m1 into g divided by m1 plus m2. So this is the expression for acceleration. Now let us find the expression for tension. So we can substitute the value of A in equation 1 where equation 1 we have already written as M2G 
minus t is equal to m2 a or t we can write is equal to m2 g minus m2 a or that will be equal to m2 g minus m2 into m2 minus mu times m1 divided by m1 plus m2 into g we can take g common m2 into m1 plus m2 minus m2 into m2 minus mu times m1 whole divided by m1 plus m2 simplifying further we get g into m2 m1 plus m2 square minus m2 square plus mu times m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 we can cancel m2 square m2 square and the result is g into m1 m2 plus mu times m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 or we get m1 m2 into g into 1 plus mu by m1 plus m2 we can rearrange it and we can write finally tension t is equal to 1 plus mu times m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into g so this is the expression for tension and acceleration